Welcome to our third video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we explain the function and working of each sensor in detail. Today, we'll focus on oxygen sensor. In this animation, breaking it down for beginners so you can understand where it's located, how it works, and how to repair or replace it if needed. If you're missing our previous videos on this series, be sure to check out the link in the description. We are also updating the playlist with videos on the working of all sensors, so make sure to follow along. Let's dive in. What is an oxygen sensor and where is it located? An oxygen sensor is a small device in your car that measures the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases. It helps the engine run efficiently. You can usually find it in the exhaust system, close to the engine or the catalytic converter. Components of oxygen sensor. An oxygen sensor has a few main parts, a sensing element, a heater, and electrical connectors. The sensing element is often made of ceramic materials which react to oxygen levels. The heater helps the sensor reach the right temperature quickly. How does oxygen sensor work? The sensor measures the oxygen level in the exhaust. When the engine burns fuel, it produces exhaust gases. The oxygen sensor sends this information to the car's computer, which adjusts the air-fuel mixture for better performance and lower emissions. What happens when the oxygen sensor goes bad? If the oxygen sensor fails, it can cause poor fuel efficiency, increased emissions and the check engine light to turn on. Your car may also have trouble starting or running smoothly. How much does an oxygen sensor cost? The cost of an oxygen sensor can vary. Typically it ranges from $50 to $500 or more depending on the make or model of your car and whether you choose an original or aftermarket part. How to test an oxygen sensor? To test an oxygen sensor, you can use a multimeter to check its voltage output. A functioning sensor should vary voltage levels as the engine runs. If it stays constant or doesn't respond, it may need replacement. Can an oxygen sensor cause a car not to start? Yes, a faulty oxygen sensor can lead to starting issues. If the sensor gives incorrect readings, the engine control unit may not adjust the fuel mixture properly making it difficult for the engine to start. What happens if the oxygen sensor is dirty? A dirty oxygen sensor can give inaccurate readings. This can cause poor fuel economy and increased emissions. If it's very dirty, it might even need replacement instead of just cleaning. How to repair or replace an oxygen sensor? To replace an oxygen sensor, first locate it in the exhaust stream. Disconnect the old sensor and install the new one. Be sure to use the right tools and follow instructions carefully. Where can you buy an oxygen sensor? You can buy an oxygen sensor at auto parts store, online marketplace or directly from the car manufacturers. Make sure to choose the right type for your car model. Can I run my car with a bad oxygen sensor? It's not recommended to run your car with a bad oxygen sensor. It can lead to more damage and costly repairs in the long run. How do you know if your oxygen sensor need to be replaced? Signs that your oxygen sensor need replacement include a check engine light, poor fuel economy or strange engine performance. If you notice these issues, it's time to check the sensor. Can I replace an oxygen sensor myself? DIY tips for beginners. Yes, you can replace an oxygen sensor yourself. Here are some tips. Make sure engine is cool. Use the correct tools like a wrench or a socket set. Follow an online guide specific to a car model. Wear gloves to protect your hands. What happens if you don't replace your oxygen sensor? If you don't replace a bad oxygen sensor, it can lead to high fuel consumption, increased pollution, and even damage to the catalytic converter. This could result in costly repairs. Is it better to clean or replace oxygen sensor? It's generally better to replace a faulty oxygen sensor rather than cleaning it. Cleaning may provide a temporary fix, but it won't last long. And that wraps up our detailed explanation of the oxygen sensor. This is the third video in our series on automotive sensors. And our next video will be on throttle position sensor, where we'll go into full detail on how it works and common issues you might face. Don't forget to check our other videos in the series for an overview of all sensors. There's a link in the description. We'll also keep updating the playlist with more videos on each sensors. So be sure to subscribe for the latest updates. Feel free to ask questions. We will respond. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more car maintenance tips.